A new study published in the journal Science by an international research team finds that early human species adapted to landscape mosaics and diverse food resources, which would have increased our ancestors' resilience to past shifts in climate. Our genus Homo evolved over the past three million years, a period of increasing warm-cold climate fluctuations. How early human species have adapted to the intensification of climate extremes, ice ages, and large-scale shifts in landscapes and vegetation still remains elusive. Did our ancestors adjust to local environmental changes over time, or did they seek out more stable environments with diverse food resources? Was our human evolution influenced more by temporal changes in climate, or by the spatial character of the environment? The scientists were able to test these fundamental hypotheses on human evolution and adaptation quantitatively using a compilation of more than 3,000 well-dated human fossil specimens and archaeological sites. This dataset was then combined with realistic climate and vegetation model simulations, which covered the past 3 million years. The scientists focus their analysis on biomes, geographic regions that are characterized by similar climate, plant, and animal communities. For example, savanna, rainforest, or tundra. The unique paleo climate and vegetation model simulations were conducted on one of South Korea's fastest science supercomputers named Aleph. For the archaeological and anthropological sites and corresponding ages, we extracted the local biome types from our climate-driven vegetation model. This revealed which biomes were favored by the different hominin species. The research team found that early hominin groups from Africa preferred to live in open environments, such as grassland and dry shrubland. Around 1.8 million years ago, hominins, such as Homo erectus and later Homo heidelbergensis, migrated out of Africa into Europe and Asia. These continents have vastly different climates and biome types. And we see that Homo heidelbergensis adapted well to these new biomes, such as boreal forests and temperate grasslands. Eventually, Homo sapiens emerged around 200,000 years ago in Africa, quickly becoming the master of all trades. More mobile, flexible, and competitive than other hominin species, our direct ancestors were able to survive in harsh environments, including even desert and tundra. This gradual transition in habitats means that human species were able to adapt to different biome conditions. Further looking into preferred landscape characteristics, the scientists found a significant clustering of early human occupation sites in regions with increased biome diversity. What that means is that our human ancestors had a liking for landscape mosaics with a great variety of plant and animal resources in very close proximity. The authors demonstrated this preference for landscape mosaics for the first time on continental scales and propose a new diversity selection hypothesis. Homo species, and Homo sapiens in particular, were uniquely equipped to exploit heterogeneous biomes. Our analysis shows the crucial importance of landscape and plant diversity as a selective element for humans and as a potential driver for socio-cultural developments. Elucidating how vegetation shifts have shaped human sustenance, the new science study provides an unprecedented view into human prehistory and survival strategies.